Hi, gorgeous. Are you trying to sit up? Do you want to sit up? Ready? Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Is that how you feel? Get in, fish. We're going shopping. <laughs> hey, y'all. All right. So, I got the sister here. We're gonna go to Walmart. Wally World. Wally World. We're gonna get some ingredients to cook, whip it up in the kitchen. Whipping it up. <laughs> whip, whip. Water. So refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know how to do, man. You know. I ain't flew all the way all overseas in the middle do, seat for us to get over here and f up. Eh, like eh, you got some scent. Eh, you might get a little bit of this eh, here. Not money. So we need chicken, chicken breast. Chicken breast. Do you think we need this whole thing? Yep. Probably. Don't forget your chicken paws. Go with it. Ew! What? Ew, Ashley, put those down. <laughs> okay, so guys, we got the chicken. We got some airheads. We got some goldfish. But on a serious note, we have Dijon mustard. So this is considered greeny mustard right here. And then we got some honey. I think we have everything else we need. We just need like salt and pepper, but obviously we have those at the house. I mean, who doesn't? Parsley, parsley. Oh yeah, we need some fresh parsley. Oh, I do gotta get Cody some snacks. Like salsa, salsa, and chips. Wanna know what they do have here that I do need to get? Um, lemonade. The chalk palatin or the strawberry banana. What? One. What? One. Any, many, miny, mo. Catch a tiger bite, so if you hollers, let him go. Any, many, miny, mo. This one, I think this is the one. All right, so I gotta get some Tostitos for Cody. I don't know if I should get him medium or hot. He likes hot, so we're gonna go with the hot. Hopefully it's not too hot. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Er, stop, stop, got it. This lemonade is the best lemonade ever parsley perfect 198 for this can't beat it all right well that wrapped up our little walmart shopping trip wally world, wally world. my bad we're gonna be on our way home and i'm honestly so excited to make this honey mustard chicken like it just looks so good can't wait sit back and relax <laughs> Oh, she loads the car. Getting my workout. <laughs> Gains. <laughs> Top lips. Yeah, you know word of mouth. Square root of 69 to 8 something, right? Because I'm trying to work it out. All right, guys, so tonight we're going to be making honey mustard chicken, some roasted broccoli, and some croissant rolls, which I love to death. I could eat a whole package myself. But. We're not doing that. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step what you guys have to do for this dinner. 
let's get started because it's actually really late right now and I'm starving. Just forewarning, there's going to be some background noise because there's two kids in this house and I'm sure most of you know what I mean. <laughs> so just block it out or just go with it, okay? So let's just get right into it. Let's just boop, jump into it. Woo, woo, woo. First things first, you guys are going to have to preheat your oven. Done. So you're gonna need a pan. Hey, don't you already have a pan? Like this. Oh, and uh, definitely wash your hands before you handle some raw chicken. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Three times, you nasty ass. <laughs> Done. Turn this on a little bit. So the ingredients that you're gonna need are some grainy mustard, some extra virgin olive oil, some honey, 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 Dijon mustard, and some parsley. Obviously, you need some chicken. Oh, and then for the side, we're gonna be doing roasted broccoli. First, we're gonna take the chicken. And I'm gonna take about, what, three, four pieces out? Four. That's some thick chicken. That's a thick piece of meat right there. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 chill. All right, we're gonna grab four pieces of chicken. <laughs> and then make sure you always wash your chicken. And a wise man once told me that. I hate that sound. It's so cringy. What sound? <laughs> me breathing? No. I hate it. All right, so the oven is preheated, but first we're gonna sear our chicken. You're gonna need two tablespoons of olive oil. Put the oil in with the chicken. And shake it in oil. It's getting hot, hot, hot. Oh, dun, 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 dun. oh there you go. We yeah. just mute this out. You're gonna get some salt and pepper, and then you just do it like, what did they say? Salt and pepper to taste, to the taste. Is that what it says? Sprinkle some salt. And some pepper. Oh my God, my arm's getting tired. That's what she said. Wow. Then I need to flip it because it needs to be on both sides. Sear means you cook the outside. Yeah. But not That's the inside. Around. But not the inside. This is what the chicken's supposed to look like. Don't let it cook for too long. You're only supposed to let the outside cook, not the inside. Now it's time to make the marinade dressing. You're gonna need three tablespoons of butter, melted butter. So I have my melted butter, one fourth cup of grainy mustard, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, tablespoons of honey
parsley, honey, and Dijon mustard. Just a tad bit more. But I think we're good. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Boom, boom. And I lied, guys. This is what your chicken is supposed to look like. That's golden brown. All right, so you're gonna grab a pan. I would recommend like a deep dish. We're gonna take the dressing, and we're gonna get a little bit on a spoon, and we're gonna pour it on the pan where the chicken is gonna go. And you want to save a little bit so you can drizzle it over the chicken. I'm going to grab the chicken, put it in the pan. The chicken is in the pan. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt and pepper just on top real quick. Just to give it some extra flavor. And then you're gonna take the remaining dressing that you have and you're gonna pour it over the chicken. you guys so that's what it's supposed to look like looks really good make sure your ovens preheated at 375 grab some foil so you're gonna cover the chicken in foil for 20 minutes you're gonna let it bake for 20 minutes with the foil over it and then you're gonna take the foil off and then you're gonna put it in for an additional 10 minutes so I'm popping it in the oven. And set the timer. So while the chicken's in the oven cooking, we're gonna do the rest of our food. We're gonna do the broccoli. Now obviously we're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to pop these in the microwave. So follow the directions on here and just do it by the directions. While the broccoli is cooking in the microwave, we're going to work on our croissant rolls. Okay, now, boom.
Ooh, it's gonna so wet actually, doesn't it? Apparently it's a minute left. Matt has to cook for 10 more minutes. Wait a minute. Voila. Chicken's done for well, the first half. Pull this on out, and then we need to take the foil off. Ooh. Pop this back in for another 10 minutes, and I'm gonna put the rolls in as well. Now we're gonna put the timer back on to about, I'm gonna do about 11 minutes. We're gonna do our roasted broccoli. Grab your extra virgin olive oil and your tablespoon. We're gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna do some minced garlic. Probably just about like one tablespoon. Some pepper. My battery's dying, guys, so that's why I'm kind of going fast. Some Parmesan cheese. About one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. And then just mix it around. Shh. And just dump it all up in there. My battery ended up dying, so I did a little things without recording. But I'll tell you guys exactly what I did. I ended up taking the broccoli out of the oven. It's gonna take way too long for it to roast. So I just grabbed a pan and I just put some olive oil in the pan and then I just dumped broccoli in here. And it's actually cooking up pretty quick. I think we're done with that. That looks good. I'll show you guys the chicken. All I did for the chicken was just take it out of the oven and then I just sprinkled some parsley on top. Croissant rolls. And then the broccoli is done. This is pretty much it. Pretty much wrapped up. I'll give you guys one more look at the food. Yummy. The chicken looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm gonna let everyone eat, take a bite, try the food, and we'll see how they like it. All right, we're gonna try some. Not bad. What do you think, Grom? Mine's already gone. <laughs> so, yeah. thumbs up. Now. I'm just kidding, but for real, uh, How was it for my first time making this? The seasoning is really good, like the marinade. Thank so you. Good. I made that from scratch. And, uh, you know, who doesn't like a croissant? It goes with anything. True. It's my favorite vegetable. It is so yummy. You love? Yeah, I love. Good. You know, you could just call me Chef Rachel because I whip it up in the kitchen. How was it, babe? What? Did you like it? Oh, it was phenomenal. You think so? Yeah, I polished the plate in literally like two minutes. So you liked the chicken a yes, lot? Yes, the chicken was very, very good and I 100% would eat that again. Hey, okay. What about the broccoli? The broccoli was really good. The broccoli was really good too, yeah. yeah. I liked it all. I liked all the food, but I'm fat, so. Aw, thanks, I'm kind of babe. Like the wrong, I'm kind of like the wrong person to ask those questions to. I mean, I'll eat anything. Yeah, but you'll tell me the truth. I definitely will tell you the truth. It was good. Thanks, babe. Alright, love you. Love you. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up my video for today. I am exhausted. I haven't cooked like that in a year. No joke. I I always make the same thing. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed. Everyone loved it. I loved it. So that means you'll love it. So go ahead and go cook that for someone you love. I am going to be posting another video this week. So stay tuned on my channel so you don't miss a video. Turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos go up. And also, you already know, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe okay well i love you guys and i will see you guys soon